Hello friends and welcome to the next Adventure Creator tutorial. Today we are going through the menu manager. So we can find it on the AC game editor. There is menu. And uh, by default you can have all these sorts of like uh, example menus and you can quite easily modify these. The first one is pause here. I'm gonna zoom in a bit. Um, we can have different like buttons or whatever we want. We can add all these kinds of elements from from uh, here like uh, all the way to the bottom of this this list of things first you can have the, the properties for the menu but then you can add all sorts of different elements to it like there's buttons there's crafting things there's dialog lists graphics input interactions all sorts of different things so basically you can change the position and the alignment and the size to be whatever you want like it's it's very easy to just modify these these settings to whatever you want and then you should also if you want everything to be at the center we should like modify these settings here to be like like uh, somewhere you want them to be I think I want centered size. Maybe this is fine like this. So yeah, there's like a lot of different styles you can have your menus and then for example buttons are the most used things in menus. So like you have different click types. You can turn off the menu for example this. But you can also crossfade to different menus like the options for example. Or you can run for example an custom script that does something uh, different that you want. You can choose the font for the uh, text in the buttons. You could also just remove the text altogether and just have a custom graphic for your button. Or whatever you want, you can change everything. Uh, text color, text size. Everything is quite easily adjustable. There's click texture, background texture, highlight texture. When this is uh, uh, button is selected, it's highlighting. There's also you can have a back background texture if you want and a click texture. Everything can be what you want when you click the button. In the options, by default, we have speech volume, music volume, SFX volume, language, and subtitles. Adventure Creator supports different languages, but I haven't uh, used any like uh, different languages I haven't done any of that stuff so but you could uh, have it here if you want it you could also just disable it delete it altogether if you really don't need it I'll just turn off the visible here subtitles we always want to have subtitles of so we, need, we don't need those I haven't gone too much into having different options uh, than uh, this uh, volume sliders I should go like I'll study that stuff more, but I haven't needed those settings yet. So that's why I haven't done those. There's save menus, there's load, very self-explanatory. It saves everything you need. There's profiles menu, but I haven't used this. Um, you could have different save profiles if you want. There's inventory. It shows uh, here to the top for uh, when you move your mouse here it shows it like slides down but you could also have the uh, transition to be whatever you want you want you could have it to fade pan fade and pan zoom or on and, and the, you can change how the transition animates there's a lot of different things to do with the menus here's the in-game menu it's always showing so there's the during gameplay upper type is set There's conversation. You can have a lot of different conversation options and by default there's also the timer here. So you could do like timed conversations. There's subtitles. This is the basic like when someone speaks. You can have it here. There's containers. Pick stuff up from containers to your inventory and vice versa. There's crafting menu. Here's your inventory. Choose your ingredients to this grid here and then the output shows what it will create. You just need to have the inventory items to 
make those. There's documents. You can have a document graphic here and then the text of the document goes here. You can also like there are so many different ways to do this. I will show you in a moment what my other games have. There's objectives menu. There's a lot of different objectives you can have. Their uh, objective title states, are they active, have they failed, descriptions for the objectives. This is just the interaction icons they show here. And then there's hotspot. This is what it shows when you uh, move your mouse to something that uh, you can uh, activate. Like for example this thing here, you could change the uh, text to be something else. And I might as well show the different menus like this, how it highlights, you could save, make a new save, you could load that save, it remembers where you were and how your settings were, you can change the different volumes here, and yeah, it's pretty simple here. I'm gonna see my cool animation again, yay, <laughs> and then we can just quit. Okay, here is my upcoming game, Eragon Tale. I'm gonna show you some examples of the different menu types. This is like just a quit to uh, menu, like if I press the quit in the pause quit game, then it shows you if you want to quit the exit the entire game or just quit, quit the title. Uh, I have options, different kind of sliders. All of these, like I have pretty similar, like the menu background is the same for most of these. I don't, yeah, this is the inventory box. I don't know if I'm gonna use it like that yet. There's the different uh, in game menus here at the corner here. I have like a conversation box here, different options for the dialogues. This is my subtitles box. Um, the face graphic will show here. I have this kind of document type here, ignore this drawing. <laughs> Uh, I have just a simple objectives menu here. Interactions will show us this circle thing. Hotspots are just pretty basic. Title screen is not complete yet. This is my credits, uh, like book. All the credits will show here. This is just a splash screen. There's loading, saving, and different kinds of things. There's also a QT. I don't know if I'm gonna use it with this game yet, but this is just a basic pause menu. So like very like basic but different kinds of menus you can have. I can show you the different like actions here. So like here we have these menus up in the corner. I can press this, it shows this menu. This is the document pages and this is just the objective. It just shows this kind of thing where you have to do this thing. Okay. Next, we have Arkham Break, my another game. I have a bit different menus for this, but still uh, pretty much like the like same idea, but a different graphics. This is the end game menu. I have all these buttons here on the down corner. More options for dialogue. Uh, Arkham Break doesn't actually have those. There's dialogue box. There's containers, I don't actually use these for Arkham Break, but like this is like what it could be. Crafting menu looks like this. Objectives menu for this game looks like this. I can also take off the draw outline so you can see better. It's quite like just a list of objectives and this shows all the information about the objective. There's my title screen menu. Great page all the same. This is a lore book, shows like different buttons here and just it, then it shows the different texts about those things. Then there's for Evelyn. This is, uh, shows the light uh, unity because uh, it's on the older version. Don't worry about that. I should update it at some point maybe. Uh, this has quite a bit more menus. So this is like a custom stuff where you can see like a lot of different things. Um, 
The menus, like the basic pause menu and options menus, inventory, they're usually the same. But I have like this kind of different like uh, menus for the in-game, but it's kind of... You don't want to have too much empty space like this, because if this is here, this might block some interactions if you're trying to click something that's in this area in a map. So just be aware of that. We have different dialogue options here. Subtitles menu looks like this. The character portraits will show here. There's the crafting menu for this. Objectives menu is pretty much the same as in Arkham Break, but we can also see our failed and uh, completed missions. There's like different pop-up menus that I have, quest complete, new quest, that show when something specific is happening. And there's the diary, this is all the lore that you can find in the game. These buttons will change when you find the lore, and you, can, you read it in this book. There's like the basic controls menu. Here's a map menu for my game. There's a couple of different maps of different areas. There's like a stat screen. And there's an info screen for every character in the game. There's different uh, character stats details. There's a level up menu. This is um, one of the most like time consuming thing I did for forever. But like this is the battle menu. So like I had to do all of these different things. And for example, when you press the attack button, let's go see this action list. Um, no, it's, it's actually in the menu. Hold on. Is this the... This is the intro, right? I think so, yeah. So like... Hold on. That menu activates this cutscene here. And all of these things happen after you press that button. And then there's these things that happen after it. And there's the cutscene for that. And all these things may may happen. Uh, there's like a couple of different choices that can happen, but like this was very time consuming to make this kind of thing. So just so you know, if you want to have battle the, that kind of battle screen, it might take a while to create. There's a game over screen, like if you fail, this shows. I had a potion shop menu, so like very basic, buy this if you have the money. There's the QTE tutorial thing like this, so it's kind of like uh, how you want to press the buttons. It's like basic inventory things. There's a lot of different things you can do with the menus. I had a cheat engine, <laughs> basically. So it's just a menu that can add to your character all these things, or change things. There's a couple different maps of the more uh, like uh, complex maps of the game, or the bigger maps of the game. Like here's the wasteland, Spellarut wasteland. It's quite huge and it's a kind of annoying place because you might die there if you spend too much time there. And then there's the gray fan and these green areas just show where the different things can be looted that you want to bring to the place when there's a mission for that. So like, yeah, it's it's uh, menus are also kind of that kind of thing that you would do need to experiment with. But it's quite easy to just to uh, go there and, okay, here is a background texture. You change it to whatever you want. There's nothing like that I can actually use right now, because I don't really have any kind of uh, texture for this. Now it's just transparent. Was it the gray one? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Um, you want to have some custom menus. Have some art for this. It looks nicer. And yeah, you should you should modify this, but these are pretty good for like uh, starting point to start modifying your own 
menus. You can move them around quite easily here in the settings, like their position and size and everything. So I think that's about it for the menus. Um, go ahead and try out something that you might want to have in your game. It's quite easy to modify these and make new ones and stuff like that. I guess that's a uh, goodbye for now.